I see them. Going in for attack mode. Away. Oh, two nice, nice kills. Oh, the AD. The AD is such a great aircraft. Hello, I'm Evan Kip out there. This is the Google Evolution. Welcome back to my channel. Now, today we're having a look at one of the most popular ground attack aircrafts in the game the AD4 Sky Raider in Ground Realistic Battle. This has a battery rating of 6.0 and you can already see why this aircraft is just so popular with players in the ground attack role. Um, it has lots of options available for um, ordnance it can carry. However, I normally go for this one which is one uh, 2,000 pounder, two uh, 1,000 pounder bombs as well as harbor rockets. Uh, the fact that this is a single engine driven uh, propeller plane is just ridiculous to be honest um, it is powered by a uh, 2700 horsepower engine which is ridiculously powerful and uh, the AD is such a lovely aircraft this is one of my favorite aircraft even out of War Thunder it's just looks such a brute of an aircraft without just that single propeller uh, it's also backed up by four um, 20 millimeter cannons with really good 800 rounds as well so what you can normally do with the, the AD is um, you get into battle you uh, you drop your bombs off and um, once you drop the bombs off it becomes fairly maneuverable with just the, the rockets on and then it's not a too bad a fighter to be honest it's a uh, really maneuverable at sm uh, slow speeds you won't be able to carry up with those uh, higher tier propeller driven fighters but if you get the drop on them with the, the Sky Raider, it's more than a match with any other propeller driven aircraft um, in the game. Like I was saying, the uh, AD Sky Raider is powered by a really powerful engine. It's setting it up to uh, 587 kilometers an hour in a level flight. I don't really believe that, to be honest. It's probably more about 450 kilometers an hour. It might be able to reach those speeds in a, uh, a shallow dive, but if it's got these uh, bomb loads on, this aircraft is not very maneuverable, uh, to be honest. As soon as the bombs are dropped off, it's uh, fairly maneuverable. It turns really well, um, and it's really maneuverable at low speeds. Um, you're not going to be able to compete with those higher tier propeller-driven planes. But if you get the jump on them with those uh, 20 millimeter cannons, um, you're definitely going to do a lot of damage to them. You can get the guns on the target. It's definitely capable of holding its own, the AD Sky Raider. It's a real testament to how good this aircraft is in the ground attack role. Uh, role. When you have a look at the, the stats and the, the history behind it, uh, this was first introduced in 1945 and it wasn't retired until the 1970s with uh, the US. Air Force. It was used extensively during the Korean and uh, the Vietnam War. Um, it had a really good uh, rugged construction. It could take quite a few hits and still be able to get that uh, pilot uh, back home. Uh, the fact that it could carry such a large ordnance and such a variety of ordnance as well. Uh, this is a naval aircraft. It could be launched off a carrier um, on top of that. And while it's not the quickest aircraft, um, it had a really long uh, loiter time over the target, which is what you want when you uh, want close air support. Another reason as well is that there was no real replacement for what the, the AD Sky Raider uh, could do. Um, even during the 1960s, uh, moving into the age of the, the jet engine, there was nothing really jet powered which could compete with what the, the Sky Raider could do. Um, it had a really long loiter time, uh, coupled with a really strong a sturdy frame with uh, lots of hard points on it which allowed lots of ordnance to be carried. It had a really good rugged construction and a really good range as well and while that certainly jet powered had the range and um, it had the ordnance it didn't necessarily have the loiter time which is what you want when it comes to a, 
close air combat support. And you can see the design, how this goes uh, influenced uh, the jet replacement for this, which was um, the A-10 Warthog. You can definitely see the similarities between the two with the, that definitely that rectangular wing and those hard points. I absolutely love how the, the AD Sky Raider looks. It's such a brute of an aircraft. Um, if you have a look uh, it's on some of the, like the YouTube videos and the, the history of uh, this, this aircraft, there's um, cases of this taken on MiG-17s and stuff and uh, coming out top dog, which is absolutely con incredible considering this is a propeller-driven uh, aircraft. Anyway, enough of me blabbing on about the history of the, the Sky Raider. I could talk about this aircraft all day, to be honest. I love uh, what it looks like, uh, what it's capable of, and uh, the history behind it. I'm going to be taking this out with the other Sky, Sky Raider in the game, which is uh, the AD-2. Uh, the main difference with this one is it has a battery rating of 5.7. Uh, the reason why it has that is that it has uh, two cannons uh, instead of the four, and it can't carry those... Uh, can't carry the Hydra rockets, which uh, the AD-4 can. I mostly don't use the Hydra rockets, uh, to be honest. The reason why that is I'm not the best um, shot using the rockets, and I find I much have much uh, better results using the bombs uh, instead of the Hydra rockets. You may have also noticed that I've got some skins on these aircraft today. Uh, this one's made by Sonada Katori, and uh, this one is made by... Uh, the Omega 89. Uh, link to both of those in the description below. Like I said, I'm taking these out in a ground realistic uh, battle today. Should be able to get a few good games. I really, really love playing this aircraft, to be honest, um, in the ground uh, close air combat support role. Anyway, let's go. Okay, welcome to Rainy Mozdok. As you can see, the visibility is really bad on uh, this game. Okay, I've got quite a few uh, target triangles though. Okay, let's. Uh... Can I spot anyone? Let's go here. Okay, we've got a few guys. Bombs are right. Uh, a few hits, but lots of hits, but no, no curls. Let's bring back over. Ooh, we've got a chance of uh, two kills here, maybe. I forgot to mention as well that the AD has a uh, sky uh, air brakes, which is a really nice addition. Nice kill there. Still got the rockets left to use. Let's try and find a uh, nice lightly target, uh, lightly armed target. Ooh, looks like a uh, stir amal or nash one. Uh, no source, no source. We need to get a uh, batter batter angle to use the, the rockets on. No source, it seems today. Two two rocket salvos left. Oh, there's, he's dead now. There we go. Puma down. One more, one more rocket salvo. And the map's bugging out. And the anti-air's down as well. The rockets on these are pretty good, to be honest. Right, we're turning to the base to go and rearm. We've got three kills from that, which is uh, not the best for really in the AD4. It can normally get better, but I'm fine the wrong way. As you can see, without the any ordnance on there. The Sky Raider is pretty renewable, to be honest. It's 
So not the, the most maneuverable aircraft, but it, it's fairly uh, fairly quick with that extremely powerful engine in it. Welcome to Al Alamein for this one. Uh, just the one cap, which uh, is A, which we have at the moment. Quite a few more, but I might want to see if they uh, cap A first before coming in with the bombs. Now there's a Panther and a RU251 close to the cap. Okay, I can see the Panther. There's a guy in the cap now, I think. I know it's just seen it. Oh, there's a few of them together here. What do you reckon? Two kills? Oh, he's just killed the one. I think. I had two nice kills. Two really nice kills. And there's a few of them in the, the cap. Hang on. Let's go in with the rockets. Flaps out. And back in. Oh, maybe we didn't kill him. Oh, hits, but no real source. I find these rockets are quite unpredictable, to be honest. They, they work reasonably well against unarmored targets. Oh, now there's, now there's lower than in the cap, of course. What? I just took out the P-47. Oh, that really sucks. Oh, dear. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> That's just my luck. Uh, I don't see an aircraft up. Okay, two rockets left and then I'll get out of here. That's uh, Stug still in there. I didn't see him before. Let's go go back in. Ah, he's just taken out the Hellcat. I can't believe that just happened, guys. Ah, didn't quite get the hit I wanted. Right, we'll head back to uh, back to the airfield to rearm. There's a few aircraft up now, anyway. I should really help with that actually. Let's take out this uh, ME 410. Oh, he's got him. There's still someone else coming in though. I'm not entirely sure what this is yet. Looks like a maybe a Stuka. Yeah, it looks like a Stuka to me. And this P-51's gonna get him though. There we go. Ah, it's hit my engine. Right, we're definitely uh, RTB now. This is what I love with a Sky Raider. You get in, you drop your bombs, you fire your rockets, and then you're more than capable of taking on anything else in ground forces. In uh, air realist of battle, this isn't really good enough for taking on other, other fighters. It's really good in the, uh, the ground attack, with uh, taking out the AI uh, tanks, etc. But it can't really compete as well with those uh, other fighters at its tier. But in the ground attack, as this expertly demonstrated, it's definitely capable of taking on anything else. Go for a nice smooth landing. Uh, just get the Air brakes out slightly. Get below 300 and then put the gear down. And flaps down. Quite a short runway, this. And we're down. Ooh. This is one thing as well with the, the AD. On landing, it definitely knows heavy. So be careful because 
has a tendency to uh, nose forward as you can see you definitely don't want to do that because you'll absolutely mess up that propeller right okay stop it right here and we'll set out the repair and off we uh, go again uh, it's unreal how much power there is in this uh, single engine aircraft and we have uh, definitely a uh, another enemy aircraft up Uh, let's try and keep down low. I'll just drop the bombs off and then might be able to take them on then. We'll see what happens. All the recapping A again. Uh, let's wrap that engine hard. Straight in and drop the bombs off I think and then we'll try and take on the, the fighter. I'm not sure what it is yet. Oh, well done. Well done. It was a, it was a BF-109. Yeah, he's down. Right. So, okay. going to try and bomb A. Get some height up a little bit. There he is. That looks like an anti-air, though. This might be tricky. Well, it's either an anti-air or a panther. Oh, it's an anti-air. Has he seen me? Nope. Now he has. Oh, and no kill. Yeah, it's now we've uh, we've upset him. We'll um, stay out of the way of A for a minute, I think. Okay, there's two of them there. That might be the better target to use for the bombs. Oh, yeah, please stay together. Oh, don't go apart. Although, that is quite a lightly armoured uh, target. Bomb's gone. Yes, two targets down. Ah, no, he's took my tail off. Oh. Got two class of anti-air. I don't see any aircraft. And I think that anti-air has been taken out now as well. So we have a uh, free reign. I see them. Going in for attack one. Bombs away. Oh, two nice, nice kills. Ah, oh, the AD. The AD is such a great aircraft. Swing our back around. And um, flaps, uh, airbrakes out. Ah, oh, hit, but that's it. And we're out of ammo there. And that's game over right there for us. Uh, with six really nice kills, uh, one aircraft down and one friendly down as well. I'm going to have to look at the replay with that. Uh, there he is, look. Hang on, let's slow this down. Uh, slow this down. I can't, you wouldn't be able to do that again if you tried. I think he was probably going to crash anyway. That was so unlucky. <laughs> Never mind. Shit happens. Okay, welcome to uh, Sunai. Uh, we've been up tiered slightly in this one, but I'm really not that fussed uh, playing the aircraft. I can already see some targets up. Some people camping at the back. See if we can get any people that are together. Oh, there's two people out in the open there. Three people out, and now they de-rendered. That's quite weird. Attention, 
bombs away. Ah, oh, just the one kill. I think they absorbed a lot of the shot for the one. Swing it back round, get that 2,000 pounder into play. Oh, there's two lined up just nicely here. Bombs away. Oh, I hope they stay together. Yes, two kills. And this is why the AD4 is just unbelievable. Okay, let's get rid of these rockets and then we can go uh, rearm. I know, I struggled to go through the front of that. I didn't realise what it was. Uh, we'll dodge the NTS, stay low. Doesn't look like there's any aircraft yet. They're yeah, still firing at us. A nicely armoured target, really. Or oh, the side of a Sherman would be nice. A few hits. Okay, let's uh, get out of here. Okay, we are in 10. I'm just going to uh, go a thing rather than wait in the 20 seconds. We're really going to take in some. Uh, light damage so I'm not really that first okay full power I must say I do uh, really like uh, the changes with the spawn points in a realistic battle it's really nice that the games last a lot longer even though there is that whoop, don't get the propeller at the, at the ground anyway yeah um, yeah I do really like the changes that they made uh, even if there's that um, cap in the the points it means the games go on for longer. And there's just so many targets now for like to, uh, targets of opportunity for attacking in ground, attacker aircraft, etc., which is really nice. It's just a shame that Gaijin won't listen to uh, the community at the moment about the the fire and the parts problem. But that's not for this video, and I'm sure as many of you people uh, will know all about uh, what's going on. Yeah, some guys going for C. Okay, we've got two targets behind this rock. Let's, uh, let's see if we can get, get them. Ah, oh, don't move forward. Bombs away. Yes, two targets down. That's better than before. And we've got the attention of some anti-air. And I spot anybody else over the side of the map. I don't really want to get too close. Oh, there's a guy there that's just been spotted. He'll do. Someone's uh, firing at us. Whoa, okay. We just got hit by a, a normal shell. So I dropped this bump. Oh, I'm struggling to control her now. Ah, uh, we got taken out by flak. Oh no. Ah, oh, we had a plane on us as well. Five kills though without a run out in AD4. I really want to take out this fighter first, to be honest. Ah, oh, there's another one up as well. Ah. Alright, we need to uh, drop the bombs quick.
Ooh. Just pause, pull up. I guess we've got the SU. Stay low. Oh, we're in a whole world, world of problem at the moment. Pull up. BF109 has crashed, which is really nice. Ah, he's, he's dead. I was about to drop the bomb as well. Where's that 410 gone? Yeah, I've got a guy behind us. I wonder. Oh, we hit somebody else though. <laughs> HS129? Oh dear. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed today's video on the AD Sky Raider. Uh, you can really see why this is such a popular ground attack aircraft in uh, Warfinder, to be honest. And rightly so, this is the, the pinnacle of a uh, piston engine um, ground attack aircraft. Um, and there's no real other aircraft, I don't think, uh, like the, the AD Sky Raider in terms of a uh, piston engine aircraft. Uh, when you have a look at um, other aircraft, they've either been adopted from fighter aircraft, such as, say, the, the Typhoon or the, the P-47, etc. Or they've either moved on to like jet-powered um, aircraft instead. So there's not really any other aircraft, I don't think, which is quite like the, the AD Sky Raider. Um, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed today's uh, video. Uh, let me know what you think of the Sky Raider, whether you agree with me or whether it is the best uh, person engine ground attack aircraft in the game. Uh, please like, uh, comment, share, all that good stuff, and I'll catch you all in the next one sometime soon. Bye!